to Herky the Cavalier's channel. I'm here today with Herky Milton, and as you can see, we have a super special guest today. This is Brianna and her cute little puppy, Luna. Hi, everybody. So if you don't know them, you have to follow them on Instagram. Their handle is Little Luna the Cavalier. Yeah. And she's been on Instagram for just about a year or so, and she's like completely blown up Instagram. Her dog is so amazing, so photogenic, and you come up with like the funniest captions well, thank ever. thank you so much. So if you want a daily dose of laughter, I highly suggest that you follow Little Luna on Instagram. Today I wanted to bring Brianna and Luna on because we are doing a little Q&A for you guys. And we asked on Luna's Instagram and also on our stories for some questions that you may have. So we'll just go ahead and... Get into the Q&A. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm so excited. We got some really good questions. <laughs> yeah, so um, we'll have Andy behind the camera ask us a few questions and... So my first question is, Brianna, how do you feel about doing this video? Um, it's weird. I'm usually not in videos, so I feel a little camera shy. And Maya is like an exceptionally good speaker, so I'm like... <laughs> Slightly intimidating. No, no, but she, she just says that, but she's like, <laughs> she, she, she's great at everything she does, so I'm sure everything will go fine. I'm usually behind the camera. G X A Die. What is your favorite dog breed aside from cats? It's a great question. My favorite dog breed would have to be German Shepherds, because prior to Luna, we had a German Shepherd, and he was the most like loyal, guard dog, protective. Just like after Luna, if we get more dogs, it would definitely. German really? Yeah. I don't know you guys had a German Shepherd. Like, yeah, Alfie, he was this big black wolf looking thing. And you guys already know that if I didn't have a Cavalier, I'd have a Golden Retriever. Oh. I love them. You know the puppy eyes? Yeah. They always look like puppies and I think they, they're just like so like innocent. I feel like a Golden too is like a massive calf. Like the temperament yeah, is very yeah. similar. Mm -hmm. They're a big dog, but they're almost like lap dogs. They're just, just like the girls. I love them. Maddie K00. What made you decide to get two dogs? I feel like it would be hard to split the attention. Uh, I guess this question. Yeah, that's just for you. <laughs> well, I got another dog because I'm just so obsessed with the breed and I thought getting another one would, would be easier for Herky, like to keep her company and stuff. But I don't think Herky loves Milton as much as Milton loves Herky. I just love having two, like it's selfish for us, but... But they also I, love each other so much. They do. I would get another cab. I think Connor, my husband, wants like big dogs though. It's usually the husband that wants a big dog. I know. I, like, I want a dog that can do this. Yeah, this right. is amazing. Like, yeah. German Shepherds couldn't do this. But no. I love them. I love them. For but. sure. Andrea Vukovic. Milton was hard to potty train. I have a seven month old Cavalier who've been training since August. How do you guys do it? So, for both of you guys, how do you potty train? I use like crate training. Same. One of my favorite trainers, Zach George, Dog Training Revolution. We watched all his YouTube videos. He's great. He does great videos on positive reinforcement using crates in a healthy way. And Luna learned pretty quickly. She's only had maybe like two or three accidents. Yeah, we, we use crate training and we really believe in crate training. And Herky was easy to crate train. Milton was not. She still had a bit of accidents, but you just need to keep doing mm -hmm. it and you don't give up when there's an accident and you just keep positively reinforce that behavior and it, it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, no, and every dog's different. Like our German Shepherd, we trained in literally one day. Those dogs have a job and they do it. Cavaliers, even our vet told us, they're known for being kind of an aloof breed. He said, where it just takes a, it takes a little more time to train them, I think, yeah, personally. Yeah. So if you're used to a bigger dog that has a job to do, mm -hmm. you need a lot more patience with calves, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. I agree, too. Everything takes patience. From Puppy Paparazzi and Young Judy, do Herky and Milton like LA more or Montreal more? By the way, Herky and Milton are adorable. Thank you. Thank Did you. you guys move to LA, Young Judy? So you can answer both in one question. Oh, okay. Uh, no, we didn't move to LA. We're just here for the winter, just to uh, hang out with Brianna and Luna. Yeah, that's just the sole <laughs> reason we're here. Sure. Also because it's way too cold in Montreal, so we're here for the winter. And Herky, I feel like she really likes winter. Really? Like she loves the snow so much. She's like a little snow bunny. And Milton gets a bit too cold in the snow, so I feel like she's a bit happier here. And Herky, every time it's like even like 18 degrees Celsius, she like salivates and she gets so hot outside, so I feel a bit bad for her. Oh, yeah. yeah, but luckily LA isn't even that hot right now. I know. It's literally raining outside. <laughs> okay, come from Queen K18. The best place online to shop for snoots and outfits, bro. Kavology brand. Oh, <laughs> no. nice, nice, nice. <laughs> nice. 
We are wearing all stuff from Kabology too. And their pajamas are Kabology, yeah. all of Luna's leashes are Kabology, our socks, everything. We also have some snoots on the website, so. Yeah, sorry, Shane was plugged. Wait, we need a snood. <laughs> yeah, we should get a snood. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of some other ones. Edel Plas. Yeah, Edel Plas on Instagram. Yeah, and Snood Fairy. Oh yeah, there's literally an account called Snood Fairy, mm -hmm. and she just she hand makes all of them. They're great. Um, also, My Puffer is something that I've seen, and they're okay. very popular. Um, they hand make them too, and I love like handmade products. Like all her leashes are handmade, which is awesome to me. I didn't pay her to say this. No, <laughs> no, I just freaking love them. <laughs> Evie the Cab asked three questions. I'll put them all in one. Okay. How old is Luna? When is Herky and Milton's birthday? And how do you get Cavaliers so cool? Cavaliers are always cool. Luna is one, and her birthday was November 7, 2017. She's so young. I know. What a baby. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, look at her. She, yeah, I know. She's, she's like adorable. two. So Herky is the senior. She was born May 3rd, 2014. Senior. <laughs> she's the senior of this group right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Milton was July 15, 2016. Teach thrift tales. Would you have a third cavalier? Yes. Would you have a third? Uh, a second? I <laughs> would. A second one, husband sure. wouldn't. Really? No. We'll all convince him. And everybody that wants Brianna to get a second <laughs> dog, thumbs this video up. <laughs> if we get a thousand likes on this video, she's gonna have to get a second cavalier. You're gonna have to that. get like written consent. <laughs> cute Cosmo is funny. I love cute Cosmo. Oh, I love Hi, cute Cosmo. Cosmo. Hello, Cosmo. Cosmo. Says, we love you. Oops, not a question. Oh, oh we love you too. We <laughs> love you, Cosmo. Queen Kami, 18. Is there a dry food that you recommend that doesn't break the bank? Well, the girls are, are on raw right now, so I can't recommend the dry food, but what food is Luna? Um, there's a great Canadian brand that Luna really liked called Nutrients. We would continue with them, but we really want to get Luna on a different food. We are looking at raw, we're looking at dehydrated. Once we figure out what we want to do with her, we'll update you. But well, yeah, Nutrients is really good. That's one of the few kibbles that she would eat just on its own without anything added to it. And why do you want to switch now? Just for health reasons. Okay. We've heard a lot that a raw diet or a dehydrated diet mm -hmm. is better for like tear stains and itchy skin. And also just like you said it, you wouldn't want to eat the same dry thing every single day. Mm -hmm. So I want Luna to enjoy her eating experiences. Bailey, the King Charles 123. What is your favorite thing about your dogs? By the way, you guys are such inspiration to my dog's page. Oh, thank you. So sweet. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you. Do you want to go first? I like that Herky is really funny. Like, I can always count on her to do something really witty and funny. She always makes me laugh. Milton is just very sweet. Like, she always wants to be with me. And oh, she's, yeah. Like, she's always, like, attached to her. Yeah, yeah. Like, you will always find Milton, like, right by my side all the time. My favorite thing about Luna is that she's very sweet, but she also has this, like, sassy side. Or if you look at her for too long without telling her what you want, she starts to go like, like she's just <laughs> sassy. <laughs> but now yeah, we love that about Luna. She's but then really also sassy. she can just chill like this. And like I said, I was kind of like camera shy, but having my dog sit on my lap like this just makes everything Easy. feel easier and more comfortable. Oh, dog therapy is real. I know. Honestly, like they make everything. It's so a much. real thing. Yeah. yeah. Michaela W. Who loves food, playing, cuddles, or sleep the most? Choose one, the Her most. Herky loves food the most, I think. Um, it depends on the food for Luna. Really? Sometimes she won't care. If it's like Cheerios, she loves Cheerios. <laughs> I would actually like Nessa. Yeah, Nessa. Nessa loves Cheerios. Even in like her bio, it's like, I, I love Cheerios. She's um, so adorable. I'm gonna have to go with sleep. She loves yeah, sleep the most? she naps a lot. And Milton would like to play ball the most. Like, oh, you see how she was like running around yeah, with yeah, the ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves balls. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Chelsea Kuzo Kreya. Oh, hi, Chelsea. Hi. Chelsea is our favorite. Yeah. Yay! Will Luna's mom do more or was this a special appearance? Ooh, I don't know. It's kind of up to my. It's her channel. Oh my god. It all depends if we move to LA, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. If you want Mai and Andy to move to LA, <laughs> thumbs up this video. <laughs> no, we would love real. to, but we would love to, honestly. We love working with Brianna and Luna. If you didn't know, she's one of our models for Kabology too, so that's why if you go on Kabology, there's pictures of Luna everywhere, because we just love working with her. She's such a pro and she's so creative, and I just love like the input she has on everything. Ashley H1. Oh, I love Ashley. What is the best thing about owning a Cavalier? This. 
Yeah, okay. you can't beat this. Pajamas and cuddles? Yeah, <laughs> pajama pajamas party. and cuddles. I think something that's really special about calves specifically is you can go out on a run with them and they'll go outside, they'll hike with you, they'll play with you. Or if you're sick one day and you have to stay in bed, they will stay in bed on top of you all day. That is completely 100% true. Yeah, they very much adapt to your lifestyle like and what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Pika, Pika oh, Adventure. Oh, I'm so excited to meet Pika for the first She's time on amazing. Sunday. How do you decide on where to travel and how much do the dogs influence your decisions on destinations? Like, would you ever leave them at home or do you only travel with the dogs? Love you all so much. Love you too. Love you too, Pika. I personally haven't traveled much with Luna. We do, um, actually, I take that back. We've traveled a lot with her. We okay, go so trips. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Never mind. What's your name your list of travels? I'm just like thinking of flying, like planes. Yeah. I've only flown with her once. Okay. Other than that, we road tripped from Toronto to LA. So it was like in total a week. We would stay overnight somewhere, stay overnight somewhere, but she she's great in the car. Like she'll get in the car and just sleep the whole drive. I don't know how you guys even did that. Like I a sleep week. a lot, Connor drives a lot. That's a perfect match. I know. I mean, if we were to fly to Europe or Asia or something, I don't think I would put her through such a long flight. I think that would give her anxiety. It wouldn't be enjoyable for her. And then we'd be able to experience different restaurants and stuff that maybe won't be as dog friendly. So yeah, but I'd have to find a sitter that I would really trust. We personally only pick destinations that the girls can stay unless it's like we really need a vacation. Like to Mexico, I, I didn't want to bring them. Yeah. Like I, I wouldn't bring them to Mexico. But when we do extended stays like this, it's just a six hour flight for us to come here. So that's the furthest we've flown with the girls. Okay, Daniel Alexandria Music. What is the average cost of owning a cat in terms of food and grooming? Why did you choose female calves? And are they different than males? So what would you answer the first question first? Yeah. You've had calves much longer than I have, so I couldn't really give a number. I think I answered this in my previous video, but just their food, my food budget for them is like 100 per month for okay. both together. So if you add like treats and stuff to that, at like, I don't know, let's say 150 for both per month. Yeah, okay. that seems reasonable. For, for and then just dogs. occasionally like, the like a grooming session. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. I think the vet is the most important that when you're getting a calf, the breed itself, they're known to have like heart yeah. problems. Mm -hmm. So you just want to go into that being prepared to maybe in the future have to spend a little extra on like medication or extra exactly. Do you guys have insurance? Uh, we don't. Okay. Yeah, do you? Okay, yeah, we done. Also, when Luna was born, she was born with a level one heart murmur, mm -hmm. which is also known as an innocent murmur. Mm -hmm. It went away by six months, but because she was born with it, even oh, if we got insurance, insure, right? they wouldn't insure her heart, which oh. would be the main thing we would want to insure her yeah. for anyway, so. I think my number one tip in the last video was get insurance. Oh. It was. But it's a total personal thing. Like, if you guys have already like a budget set aside, and if something happens, you guys have yeah. the funds for it, I mean, by all means. Yeah, personally, it's just the way my husband and I live. My husband will work for six months, not work for six months, so we always have like a chunk of savings. Yeah. So that's why we didn't find it to be. So this is the more different. responsible kind. No. Living different. on the edge. <laughs> why did you choose female calves? Oh. Are there differences with males? Did you guys just see this? Yeah, so Luna and Herky are a little like. Yeah, yeah. She's like, it's a bit too. Oh. See, the sassy thing. The, I told you. She's like, Herky does too that too, though. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. Hey, hey, hey. There you go. That's funny with the questions. You got the female sass going on right now. Oh my think, god. I think females are a bit sassier than the males. Yeah. But the males that we met are more chill. And ah. the girls are a bit sassier. But there are ex some exceptions, like they're all different. And what did you get a female? Connor really wanted a female. Really? Yeah. Um, I was actually leaning more towards a male. Okay. But when we were first looking into it, we read something. I'm trying to think of the quote, but it's like, the girls will love you, but the guys will be in love with you. If really? that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I read that somewhere. I have to remember where. But um, I I've heard that too somewhere. Like, yeah, the males are really enough. in love. Uh, they're, yeah. They're in love. Luna can be a bit more independent. Okay. But I think maybe if she was a boy, that'd be different. But who knows? Was there both male and female, and then you picked the female? Yeah, but we really were keen on Elena. Okay. And she was what was available in that litter. So oh. it was kind of just fate. And then I saw her little wonky eye, and I just knew. She was my, <laughs> she was she was my spirit animal. Oh, it's so cute. What is the most challenging part of owning a cat? That's a good question. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. You can't reply anymore. 
True. Oh my, oh god. my gosh. Yoga pants? Forget about it. No yoga pants. We have one of those lint rollers yeah. with us at all times. Like in the car, we have like, a pack of them. As soon as you lint roll, like one second later, you're full of fur again. Like yeah. you can't do anything. The yet. shedding is excessive, mm -hmm. but it's all worth it. And if you just, I'm kind of lazy with it, but I know if we brushed her mm -hmm. every day, it would minimize it a lot more. There's no other problems than that. Just the no, other than that, so far so good. Julia, move three, two, four. How do you girls deal with their separation anxiety? CBD oil. <laughs> Get them high. <laughs> We actually just started trying to give Luna CBD oil for her anxiety um, and for her coat because it also has benefits with itchy skin and like shiny fur, but I haven't noticed a difference yet. We kind of just started it, but Luna didn't really have separation anxiety at first. It's kind of this it's new developed. development yeah. and it's really only when we put the leash on her and we're going to go outside. Mm -hmm. My advice would just be to, when you leave the house, don't make a big deal of it. Don't be like, oh, bye, I'll see you later. And when you enter the house, maybe don't make a massive deal of your return. So they see you coming and going. It's just like a normal, chill thing. I don't know, that's just me. Like, yeah, that's fine, because yeah. we, have, we have to say bye to her key for the, uh, It's like, bye, we'll be back, and then she'll be fine. But they don't really have the anxiety anymore of when we leave or when mm -hmm. we come back. They have different types of anxiety. They have anxiety when they smell too many dogs. Like oh. when we go on walks and it's an area where there's, there's a lot of dogs, you'll see her, he salivates so much, it's disgusting. But I don't know how to deal with yeah. that yet. I guess every dog is just super different. Yeah. Like now when I walk in the house, I could even send you a video of this, she doesn't move. Yeah. She stays on the couch and if she's laying on the pillow, she won't even lift her head up. Really? Yeah. But that's because, especially my husband, that's the type of household that he wanted with our dog. Okay. Because um, we have a lot of visitors that come in and my family, they don't really like dogs, so we didn't want a dog to be like jumping super on everyone. Right, right, right. So now when I come home, I go to her. You know, this is super great insight because clearly as different household, we have different like rules or like how yeah. we want our dogs to behave. And that I find is super interesting because we're the complete opposite. Like when we come home, we're like, oh my God. <laughs> and like we're super excited. So it makes our dog like extra Honestly, hyper. If I was single, I'd probably be the same way. <laughs> But it's so cute, they come running, they ride their butts, their tails, so they I jump know. everywhere, we pick them up, it's yeah. a big production. It's, yeah. so it's, it's honestly just your preference. Puccini the poo, this is funny. Name a more iconic trio than the new three. Oh, oh god. my god. Right now, I just like fangirl over Pixel. She's amazing. Okay, follow her. Cavalier Pixel. Her, she has, her dads and her are just, they're incredible. Her yeah. pictures are always on point. They have cute little costumes. They're, oh. I love them a lot. I also love Hey Little Louie. I love Louie, oh my god. He is literally breaking the internet. I know, I I followed Louie before Louie was even Louie. Like, exactly, <laughs> like he wasn't even home. And before he came home, I followed his account. His uh -huh. parents were great, they're adorable. Shout out to Boris, we love Boris. Oh my god, Boris? Oh, <laughs> literally right here. Boris is right here. Like, look that at his eyebrows. That wasn't even planned. I know. Um, I also, know. yeah, while well, shameless plug, Boris has a cavalender mm -hmm. and Luna is in it. And, and her, her candles, candles are in it. So, and some of our favorite cavaliers are in here too. So, yeah, so there's a link in Boris's bio. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a really cute trio, but like the person and like the account that inspires me all the time, Same. and I think you too. Is. Little Jerry boy. I love her. I love Georgia. I love Jerry. They literally own the aesthetic game. Like every page that Georgia does looks perfect. Yeah. Georgia. And Jerry is just this like fluff ball. He's so unbelievable. Sweet. And they talk about mental health on their page a lot, which is really important, especially in the Cavalier community. Mm -hmm. They're known for being therapy dogs. So mm -hmm. if you want to follow an account that touches on that, Little Jerry boy is my rep. Okay, so okay. Hazel but the cat. What a cute name! Oh, I know. This is a foresight of things to come, guys. Ooh. Hint, hint, ooh. Oh, I know what this is going to be about. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you think is the most important step in building an Instagram following? Oh my god, I think I read that question a lot in your things, and yeah, I get a lot. We get so many DMs about like how to build social media and like how to build. It's account. hard because honestly, we could probably make a two-hour video on just this topic, just rambling about it. Or. Or an ebook. But for this question, we're actually working on a project together um, that we're collaborating on, which will actually give you great insights. Great insight to mm -hmm. how to run specifically a pet 
Instagram account. Uh, so what would be your just broad... So my number one tip would be like to post good photos and what gives good photos for me is great lighting. I love natural light, so that's what I try to focus on yeah. always. That makes your photos just beautiful all I the time. I agree 100%. Yeah. If there's bad lighting, Instagram just... I mean, we're on Instagram to see photos. That's the main feature of Instagram, so you want the photos exactly. to be superb. Mm -hmm. And what would be your tip? I think my main tip, other than photos mm -hmm. and lighting, would be engagement with other accounts. I think it's really important to look at other dogs in your community, comment on their photos, reply yep. to their stories, because you can't just expect everyone to come to your page and comment on your photos. You have to reciprocate it. And honestly, the main joy of our Instagrams is making friends. Yeah, like, like we wouldn't have met if it wasn't for our exactly. Instagrams. Exactly. Now imagine if I didn't engage with her account. I, I discovered so many accounts by them engaging on mine too, like, yeah. like Georgia and Jerry. They were like constantly commenting mm -hmm. and I was like, who is this? And I discovered her page and I was like, oh my god, yeah. it's beautiful. So this is how you get discovered also. So engagement is key. Amen. That's really cute because it's Ginger's World asked, how are you always so kind to everyone, especially us small accounts? You always DM us for a like and comment on our posts with all of your followers. How do you have time for all of this? No, oh, you're so sweet. Well, it's, it's again on the engagement thing. Mm -hmm. We just love the friendships that are created through Instagram. And it's a really genuine thing. Like I yeah. love dog people. And especially when you have a Cavalier, we already have so much things in common. So chances are we'll probably get along. We'll be friends. Yeah. So I always want to take the time to answer DMs and questions. Hey, little Louie. Oh, there oh, he is. Oh, baby, Louie. <laughs> I think they like you. Hey, Louie Boo. The most memorable moment when you met each other. Most memorable moment meeting each other. It's kind of hard because this is going to sound weird, but before I met them in person, I felt like I knew them already. Same. So it almost felt like meeting up with old friends. You know, we didn't have any of those awkward silent moments where I'm like, okay. I know. We sat for three hours. It was, just, it was really good and that's what I love about Instagram is that it makes you feel so connected mm -hmm. with people that can be so far away and it makes you create friendship and discover people that otherwise you wouldn't even meet. Yeah. And yeah, it just, we click right away. Did you notice that when she wears pajamas, she's more chill? Yeah, and cozier. I, when they wear clothes, it's like an anxiety. But it's like, them. it's like people too. They're like the way you like it. it. Yeah. Finley, King Cab. I love Finley. I love Finley. What's your best advice uh, for training on going out to restaurants and for flying. I always get so excited to greet everyone, it's hard to stay clean. You do flying a lot more with the girls. Honestly, the girls get pretty anxious and super excited when they're in a crowded place. So, not gonna lie, we give them a chill pill. When I flew with Luna, I messaged Mai, because I knew Mai flew with her dogs. I said, what's your tip? She's like, go to the vet, get this chill pill. <laughs> like, it, it's just like, it calms them down too, and like, people can get like anxiety flying like mm -hmm. I, I personally i hate flying so when i do like super long flights i personally take like a benadryl or something that's gonna knock me out and that's just something that we, we give them too and they're just like this for the entire time otherwise they're just overstimulated with noise and smells and everything and everyone in the airport wants to say hi to the cute cavalier yeah right? honestly i don't bring luna to restaurants just the all the food and the smell i mean smell is their greatest scent and yeah. that's what makes her go crazy yeah. so i would just like to go out and enjoy my meal and have her just be at home cuddle safe. same like when we bring them it's because we're like during tourism mm -hmm. and they're already there and we choose like a patio outdoors where we can have them but honestly they are so not chill when we do that and all they do is like ask to climb on us and they're really just unpleasant when we do that so we try to avoid it same thing Hugh Cosmo the Cavalier asked oh. I like this question I would love to know what you enjoy about being social media dog moms are there any backside to the pedal? oh that's a great question I'll let you start my favorite thing is this, mm -hmm. meeting the friends that we make. Mai, from the start, was like a mentor to me almost. I like looked up to her, I like, so her posts were goals, we messaged each other. Like almost and, from the start. Yeah, almost from messages. the start. She was the very first account that like wanted to send Luna a product for photos mm -hmm. and stuff, which was really sweet, so that's my favorite thing. I'd say the, the only downside really is you start to feel a little pressure as your account grows. You start to, at some point, do the photos for other people and not for you as much. And yeah. you really have to remember to stay true to why you started Absolutely, it. Absolutely, yeah. It's for fun, it's for making friends, it's to do creative fun things with your dogs, practice photography. So you just can't let the anxiety and the pressure of social media get to your head. 
the pressure of social media, it really gets to you. I would say my favorite thing also is like meeting the people. Like our good friends, I think way back for four and a half, almost five years ago, we met Bowser and the Cavalier. They live in New York and Andy was a best man at their wedding this no summer. No way! Yeah. That's awesome. They're like our new best friends. Yeah. What the heck? Like, yeah, so we made like great friendships through Instagram and I just love the community so much. And the back metal of everything would be like the anxiety of it all. Like personally, it, I don't know about you, but it really gets to me sometimes when you feel the pressure to post something. Yeah, like sometimes I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh my god, I don't have any content. Same. Well, I need to shoot content, but yeah. then you just have to take a step back and be like, it's okay wait. sometimes. It's okay, yeah. yeah. Like I really struggle in the morning when I wake up also, I'm like, what am I going to post today? And sometimes a post is forced. Yeah. And then I get anxious because I'm like... It's not getting as many likes. Exactly, and I keep posts. refreshing. So the pressure of that is just, sometimes it really gets to me and you just have to remember to take a step. My thing too is you have to remember it's not a competition. I've gotten some DMs where some people will say like, my dog isn't as cute as you, why don't I have as many followers? And I'll be like, your amount of followers does not correlate with how cute your dog is. Every dog is cute. Like, oh man. maybe yeah. Instagram isn't the right place for you, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, so that kind of competition is a bit uh, toxic, I'm yeah. guessing. And just stay away from that stuff as much as possible, you just can't feed into it. It really helps to have them here. Because you don't feel like awkward or... Yeah, yeah. Okay, ladies, last question. From Winston and the Kitty Cats. Hi, Winston and oh, I love cats. <laughs> Describe each pup's personalities in three words. Oh, that's good. Is see. it possible? Three words. I'll go first. Yeah, go. I've touched on this already, but yeah. sassy, loving, and sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm gonna start with Herky. Babe, maybe you can help me too. Herky is funny, hangry. Oh, that's a good one. Right? And soulful. She is. I like that word. Very soulful. And Milton, I would say she is clingy. Adorable. Yeah, she's yeah. yeah, like a sweetheart. sweetheart. Yeah, she's a sweetheart and she's a bully to her key. That's not one word, but like she's a bully in brackets only towards her key. <laughs> wow, that was mean. <laughs> but she is though. You guys know, I, I'm sure Sorry, you've seen it. She always growls at her key all the time. So that was the last question? That was the last question. Alright, how do you feel about the long video? I feel good. This is my first time doing it, but I really enjoyed and it. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. I also just like sitting here with the dogs. I hope you enjoyed this super long video. I'm sure I'll be doing another video with Brianna and Luna. So if you do like it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'd just like to thank everybody that left a comment. We love you all so, so much and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye!